Jesus Christ, there is a lot to unpack in this movie. Iron Man, Thor, the Hulk, and the rest of the Avengers unite to battle their most powerful enemy yet, the evil Thanos. On a mission to collect all six Infinity Stones, Thanos plans to use all of these artifacts to inflict his twisted will on reality. The fate of the planet and existence itself has never been more uncertain as everything the Avengers has fought for has led up to this point. I think this movie is going to piss a lot of people off, like the last Jedi level of pissed. Usually I talk about the cast here and I'll start off with Thanos because after all, it really is his movie. The threat of Thanos starts from the first minute and just does not let up until the last frame. The secret to a good villain is one of conviction and he has it in spades. This motherfucker has a plan that not only you understand, but you empathize with. Killmonger and Black Panther was fantastic, but really, I sympathized with him. I didn't empathize with him, and there is a difference. Like Caesar from the Apes trilogy, Josh Brolin builds a three-dimensional, fully realized, and had full conviction that, in my opinion, will be a villain and a character to remember forever. Now, they took some liberties with the comics in terms of his backstory, but it works here. I mean, fuck, they took some liberties with how they first introduced him, but it just works. All of the other characters get their moment to shine, but really the structure of this movie is unlike most MCU films, and I'd say that the structure is a lot different and a lot bolder than most films. So much so that if they were in the hands of different directors, it would have fallen flat on its face. And the Russo brothers here knew exactly how to direct, and they almost had laser vision focus. They knew exactly what they wanted to do and executed it to perfection, but in saying that, they don't really give a shit about fan favorites, fan theories, who's the most liked, what people wanted. Some could say it subverted expectations, but just like The Last Jedi, which as everyone knows, it will lead to a lot of heated debates, arguments, and I do kind of worry about the Marvel brand because I can see a lot of casual film goers leaving this film underwhelmed, and I'm also worried about how it will hold up in terms of repeat viewings. The score here by Alan Silvestri is just like, just absolute perfection. Personally, my favorite scores in the MCU are Doctor Strange by Michael Giacchino, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 by Tyler Bates, also the Thor Dark World, also by Tyler Bates. You have Iron Man by uh, 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 Rain Jawadi, The Avengers Assemble by Alan Silvestri, and Black Panther by Ludwig Göransson. But the standouts here are the main title, the, there's a scene in Scotland, and I just feel like the whole score would just be great to listen to from start to finish. The editing here is quick, uh, but instead of being a typical Marvel uh, formulaic structured movie, it lets itself breathe, it takes its time, and isn't afraid to linger on a scene or a moment. I mean, fuck, it was almost indulgent, but not too indulgent. And just when it feels like it's slowing down, it kicks right back in with a new set piece or a character moment. And I really can't wait for the Blu-ray features on this bitch because this movie constantly swapped from highs and lows so perfectly, I think it's going to leave a mark on everyone who's followed the Marvel movies in the last decade. They saved all of the villain problems in the MCU just to showcase this fantastic one that they had here. It was unrelenting, brutal, and it had a lot of humour throughout that I can't really see a lot of people complaining about the, the humour so much as they usually do. When you were with the Guardians, it felt like a Guardians movie, and when you were with Doctor Strange, it felt like a Doctor Strange movie, and when they all came together, it was perfectly balanced, as all things should be. So honestly, go see this movie because the spoilers don't let up and it'd be a fucking shame for you not to see these moments carried out on the big screen, but I can see a lot of cocksuckers ruining this movie for everyone. Thank you so much for checking out my review. Try to keep the comments section free from spoilers. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. And as always, if you like this review and want to see more, please click share to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.